a double ankle sweep, but our opponent or training partner prevents us from getting on top into the mount position. So rather than uh, give up on the sweep and accept guard again, we're gonna go to the triangle. So a couple of details, important details. Once he stands up, make sure for your double ankle sweep, you're always going to the outside of the ankles. Uh, it's a very common mistake with beginners primarily to underhook the legs and get themselves kind of stacked up. So outside of the ankles, okay? Hips drop slightly so the knees can pinch and then we raise the hips back up to knock them over. Now here's where as a beginner you learn to come up into the mount position. Uh, but that can often be difficult, especially if there's a little bit of space between you and your opponent starts to sit up as you sit up their legs are under yours, it makes it difficult to come up on top. So what we're gonna do is go to the back of the neck, post on the floor, raise our hips up. We're trying to get on top, but what I'm gonna do from here is catch really high with my right leg on his back so I can hold myself up in the air for a moment, connect my feet, and now I can drop back and finish the triangle. Okay, so your you're kind of floating for a moment, just a very brief moment. Um, and that all depends on uh, you getting that rear leg up high on their back. So once again, standard double ankle sweep. He blocks with his forearm. So I'm close, but I'm just not gonna get on top. Okay, he's starting to beat me to the punch. He's starting to get on top. So right leg catches up really high, and now I'll hold myself up with my left hand as well to bring my leg through, connect my feet, and now he can come up on top, it doesn't matter. I have the triangle. Okay, so let's do one more time. Full speed. 